Welcome to today's video. My name is Mergen and if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you know I like to start my day with an Amazon coffee. But today we're changing up the routine slightly. I've come to a coffee shop called the Rolling Rosters, which is just behind me over there. And I think you're gonna like the look of this place. Anyway, let's get away from this busy street and go inside. The weather here in Bangkok is yet again very gloomy. Uh, there's been like a couple sprinkles of showers earlier in the morning. Um, but it's cool, it's really nice and cool outside. Scan our hand first. They've got a spinning globe on an axis. Can't find my Whoa, look at this. Ain't this epic? It's like you've come to a bank. Uh, I'll just get ice americano. Ice americano, Nungao, uh, May one. House blend or dark blend? What's that? House blend or oh, which blend? Okay, which one would you recommend? It's up to you. Uh, actually, we have the single single bean as well. Would you like the single bean? Oh, this one is blend. So the flavor is like. Which one's the favorite? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a lot of flavor. It's orange. I'll get the dark blend. The dark ice americano. We can sit anywhere. I don't think there's upstairs seating, is there? Oh, there is. There is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Super vintage coffee style. And these metal pipes up here are not functional, they're just for decoration. These are obviously the air conditioning units here, blowing cold air, oh yeah. A very subtle feature on the ceiling is that it says coffee roasters, which is not in the name of the shop. The name of the shop is called the Rolling Roasters. I do like these globes though, this is really nice. And this one's articulating as well, look at that. Small little AC motor on the left there, with some gears and a chain turning this big thing. Wow, this is actually suspended in the air, there's nothing supporting it on the base. I wonder how heavy that thing is. As I'm going downstairs though, I just want to point out that these steel wires with these, um, with these wooden pallets are actually functional. As you'll see, they're storing coffee from all over the world on them down there, uh, which is quite nice. Look, we've got coffee from like Brazil. I wonder if these wooden pallets are actually specific for these coffee bags. I don't know. So here it says PL24792. I don't know what that might refer to, but I really do like this feature. It makes it look really cool. And then just in front of me, if Batman was to have his own roastery, this is probably what it would look like. Is this not something from the Dark Knight? Take a look at this. The entire ceiling is this like one big continuous light. Where do we get our coffee from? Oh, is this for us? What cake is this? This is my cat. I'm about a cat. One coconut cake. Dirty ice americana. Okay, time to taste the coffee. I got the dark blend. You know, the, the options were like confusing the hell out of me. Alright, so they recommended my girlfriend uh, the dirty coffee, which is this. Oh really? Number one barista is from here? They've got a lot of baristas actually in the back. Yeah. Why? And you know when they have competition, this is number one. Oh really? From here? They set the expectations very high and what I like to do is set my expectations very low so that I don't get disappointed. Okay, enjoy your dirty coffee. It's my dirty coffee. I'm not even joking, that's what it says on the receipt, look. It says one dirty coffee, 150 bar. It's quite expensive, isn't it? This one, 190. Is it like an espresso? 
Maybe it's like an espresso. Ah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh? I'm lying. No, you're lying, you're joking. Here, let me taste. Right. No, it's well, strong, it's strong, I know. Maybe I'm back up. Right. <laughs> it's like an espresso, but it's very nice, isn't it? Very nice. It's very nice. It's, it's got a little sugar in it. So much sugar. All right, let me uh, let me try my Americana. This is the branding of it. They got globe on there. Rolling. It's like the Rolling Stones. Nice, nice coffee with nice people. It tastes like Starbucks coffee. <laughs> I look a lot. It's got like a strong aftertaste which uh, doesn't sit well on the tongue, which is almost resembling like dark chocolate, um, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't like when they like to fuse like loads of flavors into coffee. I just like pure taste in coffee. Now I'm curious to know what the honey would taste like. But anyway, all right, let's try the cake out. Coffee, what would I give this? Um, six out of 10? I still prefer Amazon coffee over this, even though this is like 130 baht and Amazon coffee is 55 baht. Amazon for the win, people. But if you like your dark chocolate and coffee, maybe this might just be the drink for you. Nonetheless, the coffee shop in which it's housed in is amazing. That's, that's the only reason why I actually came here, just to show you guys how special, just to show you how nice the interior decor of this place is. I think your dirty is actually better than my Americana. <laughs> yeah, this is actually really nice. This is really good. Uh, yeah, I do want to eat it. Are you going to dip into it, yeah? Wow. I mean, the texture looks exactly like a sponge, right? It's so sponge like. Wow. That's, that's good cake. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Yeah, so that's cream at the top there. And then you've got like this really nice, soft, spongy texture that just melts in your mouth. Mmm. I should have asked them, give me your best coffee. Which I kind of technically did, right? But they were like, oh, no. Last time I came here, because I'm having one coffee, I think about 600, 500 baht. 590 baht for one coffee? Where? Here? Here? Here or something? Oh, we should have brought Pee Bank then, we got no, It's not the Rolling Roaster, it's the Rolling Roasters. Yeah, Roast. R O A S T. shop is designed and it themes like like the world has just gone through a post-apocalyptic war and it's been savaged by a nuclear disaster this is what a coffee shop would look like in that kind of era all run down pieces of metal like just scrambled together but yet yeah, in a very stylish fashion how many baristas are there working right now uh, you mean do you mean about yeah yeah it's about 20 almost 20, 20. Wow. almost 20 <laughs> we have a lot, even in, in the weekend. Oh, you've got a lot of customers yeah. on the, the weekend. The team is on the weekend. Oh, wow. Oh, God. It's almost 20. Yeah, I, I came here on the weekend, super Maybe busy. 20 to 30. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first time here? I came here, um, I think, like last year uh -huh. of uh, 2020, but it was so busy because uh -huh. it was a weekend that. Uh -huh. We were like, oh, we'll come another time. Oh. Sorry? On, on that time, do you have a chance to No, because it was so long. The queues were like, <laughs> yeah, super long. And is, how, how about today? Is this, yeah, yeah, is yeah. This, is this nice? Uh, so next time you can try the light, the light loose one. Yeah. It's our famous one. Is that the famous one, is it? As this is my first time ever coming to this coffee shop, I don't know what to pick. But one of our friends suggests to go for the Ice Americano in Ethiopia. Um, he says that's really good. I went for the Ice Americano Dark Blend. 
I don't really know where the coffee beans are from. But I think the reason why it's called uh, Ice Americano Ethiopia is because maybe the coffee beans are from Ethiopia. I'm not 100% sure. As I'm replying to the YouTube comments on my video, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with friends and family if you like the look of this place. And I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.